Hi everyone, let's talk about the length of a space diagonal. Notice that if we have a rectangle like this one and we label the sides as B and A, those are the lengths, and we want to find the length of a diagonal, then because we have a 90 degree angle here, the Pythagorean theorem tells us that C over here is equal to the square root of a square plus b square. And we can ask the natural question which extends from this about what happens to a rectangular prism. So let's say we have a rectangular prism like this one. and we want to find the length of a diagonal from one corner to the opposite corner like this one. Now there are, there are four of these in total and I'll draw them for you. So I drew, I drew one of them. The second one is here. A third one is from over here to here. and a fourth one is from here to here although it's going to be kind of hard to see so I'll use a different color there so it's getting kind of messy so I'll draw this again so we have only one diagonal visible but the idea that we want to pursue is finding the length of a space diagonal which connects opposite vertices So let's draw this one from this corner to this corner. And what we're going to do is that we're going to reduce this to the two dimensional case. Let's draw these two diagonals, ordinary diagonals. And notice that on the orange plane, the, the pink diagonal lies on the orange plane. So let's draw the orange plane separately. And this is a rectangle, which you can prove using 3D geometry. Let's say this side is B, this side is A, and this side is C. So what we get is that this length over here by the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle here it, the length is equal to a square plus b square and this length is c and since this is a rectangle we find that the length of the pink diagonal is equal to the following it's c square plus the square root of a square plus b square squared and square root all over that and that's equal to a square plus b square plus c square square root all over that and that is the length of the space diagonal and if you repeat the computation with all four space diagonals you'll find that they're all equal to this thanks for watching and I'll see you next time